is Leone's treat pouch that we're going to make. You can put all sorts of things in here. So this is a coffee sachet. You could also put some pens or if you've got crafty friends, you could put a bone folder. Mine's a very well used one. A pair of snips. Um, you could even put a blender pen and an aqua painter in there. Or you could put some biros, you know, pens, markers. Alright, so that's a that's an idea for a treat pouch. Candy canes, all sorts of things, just it's a quick little pouch to make. Would be ideal for colleagues or friends that you don't really want to spend a lot of money on. Um, but they'd really love this a little pouch. So we'll get started. All you need is a piece of 6x6 designer series paper and here's the template that I made earlier just so that you know what it looks like. Alright, this is the Be Merry designer series paper which is one of the ones that you can choose for free after you've purchased three packs of designer series paper. And we're using the Merry Mistletoe stamp set. So I think we might do this side out this time. We'll do the check side out this time. And we're going to score at 2 inches or 5 centimetres. Remember this is a 6 by 6 piece of DSP, which is 15 by 15. So score at 2 or 5. And then we're going to score again at 4 or 10 centimetres. And then we're going to turn it around and score at 1 centimetre or 3 quarters of an inch. And then we're going to flip it around and score at 12 centimetres or 4 and a half inches. Alright. Oh, I scored that all the way across. Just score to the to the middle lines. Don't score all the way across. So that's all we need that for. Then I'm just going to bring in my snips. And we now create our little pouch. So we cut off these little bits down here. Where you scored. a bit crooked there and back this way all right now we're going to cut this piece off here so when you score at 12 just score as far as I'm cutting so it's the first score line on each side and we're going to cut down and the same mm -hmm. on the other side And cut across. Alright, so that's all the trimming we need to do. And then I'm just going to use my bone folder and burnish these score lines. That one doesn't need to be burnished because it's not a score line. You're not going to do what I did. Alright, and I've got a one and three quarter inch circle punch here. And we're just going to punch out these little scoops. And sort of more by good luck than good management that you get this in the middle. So just a little bit like that. Oh look, I've got it in the middle. Another little bit like that and then I'm just going to get my fast fuse and put some on the tab here and fold, I'm going to fold this one over because that's 
that's the one I went a little bit crooked on. And a bit of fast fuse down the bottom here. Don't forget to check off at the end. And down there, and I just realised I forgot to get some more grid paper out. And we're just going to fold that over like that. And there's your little treat pouch. And I'm just going to burnish all those score lines again. And our little pouch is done. Now we're going to create our little tag to go on the front. And I've got just a, a piece of Whisper White here. And I'm going to colour the tree in. No, I'm not. I'm going to colour... I'm going to use my stamp and write marker in real red and colour some of the sentiments so I'm doing wishing you here so that's the first two words in that line I'm doing it upside down so you can see where I'm colouring and a joyful Christmas is the first three words in the next line. And I'm just going to stamp that down. Up on it. And we'll stamp it down here. Alright, so we've got that part done. And then I'm just going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm just going to colour the tree in. I could use, I'm just using a Stampin' Right marker. I could use Garden Green ink, but I've got markers out today. And this is quick and easy. And it just shows you how you don't need to own all the inks. You can get some markers instead until you can afford to buy the inks up on it. And I'm going to stamp that up here. And, alright, where's my punch? Here's my punch again, same punch. I'm just going to punch that out a little bit so that it's a little bit to the right. So I've got a bit of space there. And then something one of my friends hate to do. I'm going to fussy cut this tree out. I don't mind fussy cutting, but some people don't like it. But this tree is really easy to do. So it's just really a triangle and a rectangle that you need to trim around. Just try and leave a little bit of white space. And always move your paper, not your snips. Hey, if you want to play, make it a better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. Beautiful. So that's our tree cut out. Now I'm going to use when I find them. Nothing like being disorganized today. Some stamp and dimensionals and my paper piercing tool. I'm just going to put a mini stamp and dimensional on the back of that tree. These are great little dimensionals. We used to just have the larger ones. But now that we've got these, they're much more versatile. Now that we've got both. Alright, so I'm just going to stick that tree about there. And then I've used some of our tinsel ribbon and our silver mini sequins and I've tied them together in a bow and I'm going to put some glue dots on the back of that. Now glue dots are great because you can then handle them a bit before they actually stick properly and you can actually get the bow to stick where you want and it's a quick and easy so I'm just going to stick that there and then we're ready for our pouch so I think I might just use some 
the eggshells to stick the pouch on, the sentiment on. Just put one on each side, it'll be sufficient. Take the back ends off. Paper piercing tools are great for doing all these sorts of things. They're also good for opening packets, getting bits and pieces out of dies, all sorts of things. So I don't think they're just for piercing paper. Right, and we're just going to add our tag up there. And now our pouch is ready. So this is the one Leone did earlier. And this is the one we've just made in the video. And I'll just slip my snips and my scoring bone folder in there. And that's, there we have two lovely gifts for Christmas. You can give them to colleagues, friends, but they're quick and easy to make and you don't need a lot of supplies. And I hope you're able to shop with me. All right, thanks for stopping by today. Bye for now.